Nothing says expensive like a pair of oversized sunglasses. They don't have to be Gucci. They don't have to be Gucci. Just an over. Hey guys, what's up? It's Monica and welcome back to my channel. This video, yes, I'm gonna say it. I am excited. I am excited about this video because for those who follow me and those who don't know me, well, for those who follow me know that I've been blogging and doing this for about eight years and I have a background in luxury retail. So I've, you know, been a fashion girl pretty much all my life. Um, those who are new, I've been doing this for eight years, full time for four years, and um, one of the a lot of the questions that I've gotten, especially well over the last couple of years, is how to elevate your look. How do you make things look more than what they are? Um, uh, especially recently, over the last two two or so years, I've done a lot of campaigns with Walmart and some a lot a lot of brands that really are on the lower end in terms of price point and you know i've successfully been able to elevate these looks um leave people guessing like where did you get them from so um the question was how do i do that how do i put it put together outfits that look expensive that look elevated that are chic so i am finally putting together a how to look expensive video Yay! Okay, so if this is your first time visiting my channel, first and foremost, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification button so you never miss a video, follow me on Instagram so you can get so much more inspiration and all that good stuff, it's Odd by Moni. And don't forget to check out my website, oddbymonica.com, because that's where everything goes, all the style inspiration, shopping, home, all of that. Oh, so if you're not just into fashion and you like home, check out the vlog make sure you follow me because i do do home videos a lot of home content so it's there check out the videos and check out my website but yes this video how to look expensive so i decided to do more of a series of videos like this just kind of you know different scenarios and different seasons but i wanted to start with the basics um there are basic rules that i kind of live by when i'm you know trying to you know elevate my look and not look as casual or if the pieces are inexpensive to really just you know have that expensive vibe so without further ado let's get into the basics of how to look expensive Okay, so, I say so a lot. <laughs> We're gonna start with pretty much the makeup and your routine because I feel like looking expensive is not just about what you wear. It's also about your makeup, you know, and your hair. So, my tips for that are really just very basic. The cleaner the makeup, the more expensive you look. So right now, I have my foundation, powder, a nice beautiful red lip and I will have all the details in the description box um, and um, just a little bit of a liner did my eyebrows did all the basics without overdoing anything a little bit of blush a little bit of bronzer to add you know a glowy glowy face so all of that just really elevates and adds to your overall appearance and nothing says oh, I'm expensive like a simple hair bun just putting your hair back in a sleek ponytail or a bun it's just chic it has always been and it always will continue to be um, I tend to wear my hair like this all the time not necessarily because I want to look expensive all the time but who doesn't but anyways because my hair is actually thin so I've got fine a lot of fine thin soft curly hair so this just works for me and it's less damage on my hair but it also works into the whole idea of looking more expensive and just elevating your outfit so those are the two basics clean but enhanced makeup you want to enhance what God has given you already and then you want your hair to just be slick and clean a slick clean hairdo bun whatnot is always a great way to go but there are other ways to kind of you know create a slick clean look if you've got a nice little you know bob or whatnot basically you want to just make sure your hair is groomed and it's neat now for the most important part the wardrobe this is really what it is about like that's the Canadian me about <laughs> um, your wardrobe this is so important guys because what you put on really you know dictates how you look oh 
first and foremost before we jump into the clothes you put on nothing says expensive and nothing says yes this bitch is here like confidence I believe that you need to feel comfortable in everything you wear you need to be comfortable with your body um, regardless of what size you are as long as you are comfortable with your body you are golden and nothing says confidence like a smile <laughs> so yes keep that in mind let's keep on going okay so for your wardrobe first and foremost two very 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 important things in terms of looking expensive and elevating your look and number one you have to pick the right size and number two you have to pick the right fabric I know a lot of us put a size in our mind and we're like no I am a size 6 regardless of who the designer is I have to be a 6 no that is a recipe for disaster go with what fits you for the most part a lot of people tend to you know I tend to go with you know smalls or a size 4 but I also know that certain brands might not cut the way others may um, so I try to Go whatever so literally my closet consists of I think I have zeros to larges and maybe even extra larges I really don't focus on the size more so I focus on the fit and I make sure it fits my body properly fabrics really dictate how you look or how your outfit looks if the fabric of a silhouette or a piece that you're wearing looks cheap then you will ultimately look that way you definitely want to steer away from fabrics that are clingy, that are overly stretchy, that just kind of like stretch and cling and wrap the body. Like that really just doesn't do it. You want to go for pieces or fabrics that are a bit thicker, um, pieces that are a bit more structured, that really hug the body well without being overly fitted. If you follow me, you know that I do not like steaming. I do not like ironing. I hate it, but I have to do it. I've got a great steamer, so it makes it a little easier. But to look expensive, to look good, you have to steam your clothes. You cannot look expensive wearing wrinkly, roughed up clothes. It has to be steamed. It has to be pressed. Even if you don't like it like I do, you still got to do it. So that is so important to wear clothes that are steamed, that are pressed, ironed, that look good less is more I think we are you know gun-ho on this idea that oh I have this let me put it on I have that let me put it on. I'm gonna put on a belt I'm gonna put on this I'm gonna put on no less is more literally um, when creating outfits I would say take a little time to think about it even if you're in the shower just think about it a little bit you don't have to throw on an extra belt you don't have to put on a pair of um, oversized earrings you don't have to put stuff on because you have it just put what works and if it's if it feels too much it really is too much so try to go less is more don't add too much to your look keep it simple keep it easy and you'll look good wear monochromatic clothes that is a game changer for instance today I am wearing all black in this look there's something about all black that is just chic that is elegant that looks expensive this particular sweater that I'm wearing which is adorable it was featured in my um fall look book essentials and we talked about turtlenecks and turtlenecks that's for another essential or expensive video but just in general we're talking about blacks and wearing a head-to-toe black outfit love this piece yes the details kind of really emphasize it but notice I'm not doing anything else you know I kept it simple we're doing my pearl earrings you know I'm not wearing anything extra through here we don't need a belt we don't need you know we don't need all that fuss the sweater does the job you you know and then we were doing these beautiful silk trousers kind of just to elevate the look pick off some of the fabrics I love to use fabrics to kind of tie in different things and colors but yes keeping it in one color will always make you look expensive it doesn't have to be all black it can be ivory it can be browns greens it really doesn't matter all whites nothing screams expensive like an all-white outfit I love I love but yes monochromatic looks will always look expensive so Add some monochromatic outfits to your wardrobe. There are certain pieces that should be in your wardrobe that I feel like, you know, are seasonal, but a white dress shirt, it actually doesn't have to be a white dress shirt, but a loose fitting, actually I do prefer white dress shirt, so I'll take that back, but I uh, uh, definitely a, not a fitted white dress shirt, but um, 
I would say just a clean fit. So nothing fitted, but just narrow, a narrow fit white shirt should always be in your closet. There's something about white shirts that literally just elevate your outfit. It doesn't, you know, it's just a white shirt. Raise your collar. Throwing the collar up just makes you look expensive because it's like it's like you don't care if makeup gets on it or not. You, you know, somebody's going to wash it. So even though the shirt might not cost all that much, but just raising that collar and flicking the collar up just really elevates you. And makes you look expensive so you want to definitely always have a white shirt wear a white shirt with your jeans wear a white shirt with your trousers with whatever it will just automatically make you look expensive oh and it has to be pressed too <laughs> another great way to look expensive in terms of you know the clothing and what's in your wardrobe is to introduce a blazer to your look um, blazers are just those items that you just throw over your shoulder and BAM so by simply just throwing this blazer over my shoulder, do I not look expensive? <laughs> Anywho, blazers are just those items that just always elevate your look, especially if you throw them over your shoulders. Not necessarily wearing them. Wearing them too does the trick, but this way you absolutely look expensive. You look like you just want to stroll in and you couldn't be bothered by anybody. So I would highly suggest if you want to look expensive, throw a blazer over your shoulders and enter. <laughs> layering the right way when you're layering make sure you tuck in properly don't let you know half of the tuck unless you're doing a intentional half tuck so you're doing a slight tuck on the side or you're doing the, the front and then you're having the back down make sure it's done properly don't fuss and don't put things on and just look shoveled make sure everything lays properly that is a great way to look expensive just to you know putting pieces on intentionally and not just throwing them on and you know fussing and just running out and going so you want to be a bit more intentional you want to make sure that your pieces lay flat and firm on the body if you're tucking a pair of trousers in or sorry if you're if you're tucking a top into your trousers, make sure it lays properly. There's not too much fabric that just rubbles, you know, that crumples up under the pants that we can see through it. Um, for instance, these pants have a jawstring, but I neatly tuck them in in a way where you can't tell and it still lays flat. So just, you know, take a moment to kind of just check your outfit. Make sure you're not, you know, you're not just shoveled. Make sure nothing is out of place and everything is layered properly. Okay, so another way to look expensive is with your accessories. Um, I, I love accessories actually. I really am an accessory girl, but not overkill. Um, and there's so many different accessories and different ways to accessorize your look to make you look expensive. Um, I like to do arm candy. I know you guys have noticed. And I know you guys have asked for an arm candy video and I promise, I promise it's coming. I'm working on it. I'm just trying to think of the best way to deliver it to you. So stay tuned for that. But yes, accessories. Add a little luxury. I know some, you know, a lot of us have budget restraints, but you know, if there's one or two pieces in your closet, or if you add one or two pieces, maybe one a season or once a year, add a little luxury to your outfit, and that will really just elevate and you know make your outfit look really special. Um, for instance, this look, we added a little luxury with these Dior earrings. I like to wear diamond earrings all year round, so that's kind of my luxury every day. Um, so add a, dime, a pair of diamond earrings, and you know what, they don't have to be real diamonds. You can get the nice crystal glass or the Swarovski or whatnot, and just, you know, a nice stud. There's something about studs that just really elevate your outfit, that make you look chic and make you look expensive. So try to wear studs, try to wear diamond studs, crystal studs, just studs in general will always make you look expensive. Add a brooch. I don't know, but I, I have a lot of Chanel pins. I haven't worn them in a while, but I feel that, you know, it's a great way to kind of elevate your look. So that would be an option for this, to put one of my pins on, you know, on the lapel of this blazer. I'm gonna see if I can find some pictures of, you know, of me putting, um, my brooches on I used to do clusters um, I just I, I feel like I do everything else so I can kind of get away with that but you know if you have a beautiful pin or a beautiful brooch you can just pin it on your lapel or pin it on your, your sweater or whatnot and that really adds an expensive look you know even if it's just one Chanel pin you have Chanel basically looks expensive so you really can't wrong can't go wrong but just adding a pin or a brooch to your outfit really kind of elevates you know your look and makes you look expensive so you know don't hesitate to add a brooch or a pin to your outfit because it will elevate your look. Nothing says expensive like a pair of oversized sunglasses. They don't have to be Gucci. 
they don't have to be Gucci. Just an oversized pair of glasses that just, you know, automatically elevates your look and makes you look like, don't talk to me, I'm expensive. <laughs> but anywho, an oversized pair of sunglasses always does the trick. Get a pair in your wardrobe. If it's gonna be an investment, why not do Gucci? I've had these for years and I'm pretty good with sunglasses. I actually have glasses that are over 10 years old and don't ask me, I don't break them, I keep them. I tend to pick pieces that Kind of, kind of last the test of time. So, but this classic square, it doesn't have to be square. It can be an oval, it can be round, as long as it suits your face. But that will always make you look expensive. So, add an oversized pair of sunglasses. Another accessory that is bound to make you look expensive is a top handle bag. Top handle bags are very classic. They are very chic. They look great with outfits, case in point. They're not necessarily practical in term, depending on the size, but just having that top handle and just carrying your bag just elevates your look and makes you look expensive. Always have a top handle bag in your wardrobe. It doesn't have to be YSL, it doesn't have to be a Birkin or, or a Kelly or whatnot, but just anything in that top handle silhouette um, just really looks great. Carrying your bag, let me see if I have a bag this way. Carrying your bag this way just always makes you look very chic. It elevates your outfit and it makes you look expensive. So wear a top handle bag, throw it over your arm and wear it like this. Technically, is this a top handle bag? I guess it is really because it's just a top handle and you can only carry it this way. So yeah, <laughs> top handle bags. <laughs> a classic pair of shoes are another, I, I know shoes, are, I, are there accessories? We're, we're redeeming them as accessories today. Everything, the shoes, other than your clothes, accessories. So shoes, classic shoes, a pair of pumps, a pair of loafers, very classic, a slingback pump, classic silhouettes that just really elevate your outfit. Case in point, these beauties are from J. Crew. Not overly expensive. They've got that croc embossed look. Classic, classic loafers will always elevate your casual look, make you look more expensive, make it look like you've put thought into your outfit. So something like this, you can't go wrong with. Always, you know, try and add a classic pair of loafers to a casual outfit because it will elevate your look. A great pair of pumps. These ones are a slingback pump. I love these. You could wear them with anything. They don't have to be snakeskin. They don't have to cost a fortune, but just in this classic silhouette will elevate your outfit. It'll make you look more put together. It'll make you look like there's more thought into it. Um, just picture it, a white dress shirt, a pair of jeans, and a nice pair of pumps with a top handle bag, hair slicked back. You look fabulous. All right, guys, so those are the basics of how to look expensive. Make sure you tune in and subscribe to this channel because next up will be how to look expensive on a budget. I've given you guys the basics. These are things that will just really elevate your look, things to keep in mind. Make sure you save this to just kind of, you know, think about that when you're getting ready or on a, on a date or an occasion where you want to look a bit more expensive than normal. You know, just save this and open it up if you need the information. But anywho, stay tuned. How to look expensive on a budget is coming how to look expense for fall and all the different occasions are coming so stay tuned subscribe to the channel hit the notification button so you don't miss them make sure you follow my website oddbymonica.com because we've got tons of fashion and home and all that good stuff there follow me on instagram it's oddbymoney that's where i post all my outfit inspirations and collaborations and all that good stuff so i hope this was useful to you let me know which tip you thought was the best or would be helpful for you. Let me know your, you know, your thoughts in general about the video. I would love to hear them and I would love to, you know, see or I would love to know if I missed something and if you would want me to elaborate more. Just let me know with your comments below and until next time, bye guys.